Hey YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Tyler here. I'm the best 7771, and I'm here bringing you a video today on my fishing tackle I got at the fishing show and with my Christmas money. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. My camera has been broken, so got it fixed, and here we are. Without further ado, let's get right into this video. Alright, so first I'm going to start off with the soft plastics I got. I got these right here. They're these black ones. You can see them? Sorry, there's a little glare. But I'll take one out so, I, so you can see what it is. What it is, is it's about, I think it's like 10, 15 of these. These black double tail worms. I can imagine they're going to be pretty good. Because I fish in pretty clear water. So, maybe a good jig trailer. That's what they are. Ah, oh, there are probably like a good 15, 20 of them in there. There they are. Ah, the next thing I got is, let's just open these up, take the thing off, is it, actually, it's this power bait, original scent, uh, it's Berkeley power bait, and it is twin tail grub, red, red glitter, that's the color, two inches, or two inch double tails, here, I'll try to get one up over here so you can see it, you can see them right there, those little double tails, the next thing I got is, let's see, can you open these? Got these Reaction Innovations Smalley Beaver 3.5 inch 12 count hematoma colored. They're black and blue. I'm going to use them as jig trailers. If they look like, I'll take one out so you can see it. They look pretty nice. Like little beaver tails, but good action on them, probably. I can imagine. You can see them right there. You got at least two side tails, too. And they got the one big tail. Flip it over. They got the nice pattern. That's what they look like. Big tails were like five bucks. Not bad for a 12 count, five, six bucks. And by the way, I got this. These, the ones two that I showed you, and these that I'm about to show you, all for, they were a dollar, all of them. So I got these. Zoom, bait, co Zoom bait company, small salty chunk, black red, black and red glitter. That's what I got. They're not, I think they'd be nice for jig trailers. So, see their Zoom right there. This is what they look like. Just hook them right through there, right through the top. And they'd be good jig trailer right there. Ah. Uh, next I think I'm gonna show you some of these I've had, but I thought I'd show you anyways. These are good for me. First I'll start off with these. Gary Yamamoto Custom Baits, 5 inch Swim Senko, and Watermelon Black and Red color. These are very, very, very good for large and small bass. You can catch, I've even caught a, a big sunfish on one of these. Like, don't ask me how, but I did. Uh, so, this is what they look like. They're little worms with like a fish tail that spins in a circle when you reel it in. It goes like this. It spins in a circle. They are really good. They have good action. So, they're worth it. Next, I haven't used these really, so I don't know how they are. If you know how these are, tell me in the comment section below, please. If you've ever used um, 4 inch Yamasenko black with large blue flake, that's what it's called. With blue flake, with black worm, with blue flakes. Gary Yamamoto custom baits. If you ever use them and caught anything, tell me what they're good for. Tell me how to fish them. That would be great knowledge for me. Thank you if you do that, please. This is what they look like. Just simple worm. You can hook them to the top weedless. You can hook them wacky in the middle. You can do a lot with these little worms. They're good. That's what they look like. You can see the flakes in there. 
the side. Next, I've used these and they I've got very, very good luck on them. Culprit, 7.5 inch worm, red shad. And these work very, very good. Just re I just cast and retrieve, cast and retrieve. I don't dig them. I have digged them and I've caught fish on them. But you don't even have to. You can just cast and retrieve them. It's a ribbon tail. Let me open them to show you one. Oh, geez. Got a hook in there. Got a hook in the finger there. This is how I hook them, too. I can show you how I hook them. As you can see, I'll, I'll unhook it even to show you how I hook them. One sec there. Ah. Right. So what I do, you see the worm there? Long 7.5 inch ribbon tail. What I do is I take the hook like this, hook it all the way through the top, so the hook comes out like that, and then I put it all the way through, so only the circles right there, where you hook your, where you tie your line and hook it to the lead, then you bend it a little, put it through. So it hugs the worm's edge, so it's weedless. This is a very, very good way to hook your worms. And just cast them, retrieve them, or jig them. Put a sinker up here, maybe. Right here on your line. Very, very good. Put those back now. I have a couple more things to show you. Ah. So next, I have, this is brand new. This is, a. Uh, Custom Kicker Jigs, Freak 3 8 ounce, 3 8 ounce, and as you can see, you see the flat head right there. I'll, I'll open it for you guys, if I, if I can. Here we go. So the point of this jig is it never falls the same way. You see it's a flat head. So when, when you jig it, it'll swim like that. It'll when you jig it, you'll like it'll bounce and then it'll swim. Or it could go to the left, to the right, or it could go to the left. You never know what it's gonna do. It never falls the same way twice, which is very good. As you can see, it's got the weed guard right there. The weed guard right there. It's got a pretty decent sized hook. Good for big and probably some small bass too. So I I can't wait to use this bait. That's what it is. It's in bluegill colored too. Put that back in this case. Uh, next, I just got some Danielson Burl Silvers with interlock snaps. Just, you know, basic stuff right there. Then I got three spinner baits. The first one is Chartreuse. Sartreuse with a red eye on it, so Sartreuse red eyed shed pretty much with silver blades. That's what it looks like. Still got the tag on it right there, but looks pretty good. These were really cheap at the fishing show I went to. They were only, they were three for five. Next, I got two of the same one, so I just got two of these one right here and one right here. I'll just throw one to the side. They have the shed on one on both spinners right there and right there and they're gold on the other side and the other one's silver on the other side then they're orange black chartreuse and light green with the eye right there so re resembling a fish and they have decent sized hooks both of them have decent sized hooks so they look pretty good uh, if you enjoyed this video please make sure you leave a like rating down below that will really really help my channel out and if you want to see more fishing videos, I do fishing videos, I do metal technique videos, I do how to, I do a lot of how to videos. So if you want to see more of those, subscribe please and make sure if you have any questions, comment down below. Thank you and have a nice day.